everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. I have another design team project for Alina Craft. I thought I'd go ahead and share these luggage tags that I created. Of course, they're paper luggage tags, but you can definitely create them with felt if you really wanted to use them, actually use them as, as luggage tags um, or some faux leather. But let me go ahead and just share with you guys. I thought these would be really fun to make. Um, because I wanted to use the large uh, alphabet dies that she has in her store. And so I just took one of my tag dies. And this is one of the largest ones from We Are Memory Keepers. And I thought, how fun would it be to just create some monogrammed luggage tags? And that's exactly what I created here. And um, then I made a charm. I thought it'd be really fun to create this pom-pom uh, charm that has uh, lots of little um, smaller, smaller bling charms on it. And um, yeah, just very simple. And I created three of them and I thought it would be fun to go ahead and assemble one together. So let's so go first ahead and of all. That. What you're going to need are some glue and I basically just used the Helmer glue that you can find at Hobby Lobby because it does dry fairly fast. The dies that you are going to need is some kind of tag die and I happen to just choose this one because this is one of my larger tags and I like the shape because that's exactly what luggage tags look like. So um, I used that tag and it looks like this actually. And then um, to put the little hole on the top to, you know, mimic an actual luggage tag, um, I did use this Alina Craft die, which she does not have in her store anymore, but it creates a little bag and it did have this little piece. So if you have a die set that has this little piece, or a punch that will, you know, cut that um, rectangular hole, then go ahead and use that for the top of your tag. And then, of course, I used her new um, large alphabet dies, which measures, I think we just, we had measured them at, what, three and a half, is it? Let me just measure again. I believe they were coming out to about three and a half inches, most of them. So they are a good size. And right away, I knew that I wanted to use these to personalize some gifts that I'm going to be, you know, giving to my friends. And, you know, some gifts to, um, to send for Happy Mail. So let's go ahead. So um, I'm going to use the... Um, letter M because I've already t created the T, the S, and the A. So I'm going to go ahead and use the M right here. And for the sake of time for this tutorial, I thought I would go ahead and cut them out already. So I cut out the M and I cut it out twice in patterned paper as well as foam. And the foam I used is the Silly Wink, which is this one right here, just in case you guys are wondering. They are 89 cents at Hobby Lobby. Now, this is the two millimeter thickness. Um, even the more thicker one will go um, through this, you know, the machine and through this die. So um, you could actually even use a four millimeter thickness foam but this is the um, two millimeter one that I used here so we're going to be gluing that together and then of course you want to cut your tag and I wanted um, at least a couple of colors to go with this tag so that um, this would be nice and popped up and um, the letters would you know also pop so, of course, I didn't want to put it blue on blue, so I decided to use this coral pinkish uh, paper, I mean glitter cardstock. 
and then um, and then this will be the um, the little well it would be like the leather uh, tag holder on top and I forgot to get it but let me go ahead and grab that but then you'd also use this ribbon buckle or whatever buckle you have in your stash I'm sure you can find these on AliExpress or on line somewhere okay I went to go ahead and get mine and they look like this and usually you can buy them in a pack of you know a few of them um, I want to say I think I got these from the UK I think these are from uh, what is that store wild orchid craft I think is where I got these but I'm sure you can find them on Ali okay so let's go ahead and put this together so first you want to glue your um, letter, your monogram. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this glue. I absolutely love this glue. It can get a little messy and a little sticky, but it washes off very nicely. And it is a good permanent glue. It does stick well on foam and paper, as well as fabric. Um, it usually tells you here what it's good for. Trims, things like that. I love using that. Okay, so you're just gonna go ahead and place your letters and I love it because it doesn't, you know, dry too fast so you can um, make sure it's nice and lined up if it's not. And I love using foam because it does just add a little bit of dimension to your project. So this is good right here. So just give it a good squeeze and let it set. Next, we're going to work on our tags. So as a base, I just wanted to use 110 pound cardstock, or I think it's 100 pound or 90, something like that. I don't know. It's from Michaels. Okay, so again, I'm just going to use the same glue throughout, you guys, because it works. And... And then you can twist that top off so it's not, you know, going all over the place. You just kind of get into that habit of closing it, then you won't lose that much glue. Okay, and then you can take your bone folder to make sure that this is nice and flat. Let's see if I can grab mine. I usually have my... um my tools here <laughs> in front of me while I craft. Okay, just make sure it does line up in the hole there. <clears throat> so next you're gonna go ahead and layer this paper. And all the glitter paper is actually from a pack that I got from Michaels, which is called I think it's a Recollections um, glitter pack, which is amazing. I love it. Let me show you. It is this one right here called Magical Glitter. So it works really well. And it comes in pastel colors, which is perfect for Easter because this is actually a little Easter monogrammed um, luggage tag. I feel like my hole isn't centered, but maybe it is. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't look quite centered, especially if you're doing this on camera. All right, and once you do that, then 
you can go ahead and put your monogram and you can decorate this further but because you know I'm calling it a luggage tag um, you know usually it's not that well decorated but I might just add maybe a little bit of you know what I want to add is some pom-pom trim or some leaf trim on the bottom or something what do you guys think let me know because it is a bit plain and it is made out of paper, so it's not really going to be used as a luggage tag. Um, I just wanted to make it because I wanted to personalize the gifts that I'm going to be giving to my friends. And I thought this would be pretty to just hang on the, the bag that I give them. Um, or the box. Okay, so... Isn't that pretty? And I really like the um, the floor print on the letters. And I use Maggie Holmes paper just in case you're wondering. These are Maggie Holmes designer paper. Again, from Chasing Dreams because that's what's out. And I just love that paper. <laughs> um, this might be the last time I use it because I think I'm kind of getting sick of it now. I've been using it all throughout this month and last month so um yeah I think I need to whip out my other Maggie Holmes paper my summer papers I've been itching to use my sunny days as well okay but you know I'm still finishing up this project which is Easter okay and then what you want to do is basically this is uh six inches in length by three eighths of an inch because it will fit perfectly in the ribbon uh the ribbon buckle sorry and that's how you want to put it in okay just like a ribbon we're gonna again glue that you know, I want that to dry like super fast, so I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. If my hot glue was on and it's not, so <laughs> I just will make sure I don't put too much. Because if I put too much, it'll take a little bit longer to dry. So I'll just kind of spread that and make sure that it's nice and adhered on there. And let me just press it for a little bit. I didn't realize that I turned off my hot glue. All right. And again, let me just take some of the glue off my fingers here. All right. So that attaches the buckle. And then all you need to do is to put this through. And actually put the paper through there just like you would a ribbon. And voila. There you go. You have a luggage tag. Isn't that cute? I think it's such a cute idea. And then um, I also, since I made some charms... Let's see, what did I do with my charm? Aha, I made some charms for my friends and I used um, KSP by Louisa. I used her little tutorial. She has a tutorial on her channel on how to make these little um, beaded pom-poms. And um, I just made a little dangle. So to attach that here, I'm just gonna use a very large jump ring. This set I got uh, on Amazon, it's great because it comes with different sizes of jump rings um, as well as the clasp. See that? I've since refilled it, but it does come with the um, lobster clasp. So this is a great little set to have. And it comes in this color and also gold. So just in case you're wondering. And let me go ahead and put that through. 
And then I can now add my little charm here if I can find. Oh goodness, what did I do with my lobster clasp? There it is. Okay, and then we're just gonna hang it. And I just think it's so cute. And that's it, you guys. How easy was that project? And how fun using these monogrammed alphabet dies. So there it is. Thanks for watching. And I hope you give it a try and use it for your happy mail. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.